Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Select Expert to create and apply filters to the report data. When you create and apply report filters, you in some way specify which records to include and exclude for the report. Unless you want to display every single record from the underlying table or tables that you selected when you created the report, you must apply filters to restrict the data displayed in some manner. Crystal Reports uses the Select Expert dialog box to specify the filtering criteria applied to a report. One way to use this tool is to first ensure that you do not have any data fields selected within your report. Then click the Select Expert button that appears in the Experts toolbar. Beginning the process this way will display the Choose Field dialog box first. You can select either a field from the report or a field from the underlying tables, even if it is not displayed in the report from the list shown. In the Choose Field dialog box, you can click the name of the field by which you want to apply a criteria restriction from the list of fields displayed in the dialog box. Once you have clicked on the name of the field by which you want to apply the filter within the Choose Field dialog box, you can then click the OK button to finally display the Select Expert dialog box. Now the other way to launch the Select Expert dialog box is to click the name of the field within the Details section of the report in Design View to which you want to apply a filter first. Then click the Select Expert button in the Experts toolbar to launch the Select Expert dialog box. The Select Expert dialog box allows you to apply filtering conditions to the field that you initially selected. You will see the name of the field that you selected displayed as a tab at the top of the Select Expert dialog box. You'll use the drop-down that appears on this tab to select the comparison operator by which you want to compare the value of this field to a criteria value, which you will then specify. The text box where you can specify or select from a value contained within the field will only appear after a comparison operator has been selected. Note that the number of criteria text boxes that appear will also depend on the specific comparison operator selected. In these text boxes, you may have drop-down arrows appear upon which you can click to select a value from the drop-down menu. Note that the drop-down will only display the first 500 values in a field, so you can also directly type the data into the fields displayed if needed. Next, let's look at the various types of comparison operations which are available for selection within the drop-down that appears on the Selected Field tab within the Select Expert dialog box. The first operator is the Is Any Value operator. This condition specifies that there's no filter being applied. All records are displayed, and this is the default comparison operator. Next is the isEqualTo operator, and this operator will only display records that exactly match a value that you specify. The isNotEqualTo operator displays all records which are not an exact match to a specified value. The isOneOf operator displays all records which exactly match a list of values specified. The is not one of operator displays all records which are not an exact match of any values specified. The is less than operator displays all records with a value less than a value specified. And the is less than or equal to operator displays all records with a value less than or equal to a value that is specified. The is greater than operator displays all records with a value greater than a value specified. And the is greater than or equal to operator displays all records with a value greater than or equal to the value that you specify. 
the isBetween operator displays all records with a value between two values that you specify, and the isNotBetween operator displays all records with a value that is not between the two values that you specify. For text fields, you can choose starts with, and this operator displays all records that have the same initial characters that you specify. For text fields, you can also choose the does not start with operator to display all records that do not have the same initial characters that you specify. Also for text fields, you can choose the is like operator to display all records that match a character pattern that you specify. You establish the pattern by using wildcard characters of the question mark and or the asterisk mark. Likewise, you have the isNotLike operator, which can display all records that do not match a character pattern that you specify. Once again, you establish the pattern by using wildcard characters that are available. For date time fields, you have the isInThePeriod operator, which will display all records that have a date time value that falls within a date time period that is specified. You also have the is not in the period operator, which can display all records that have a date time value that does not fall within the date time period specified. For logical fields, you have the is true operator, which displays all records where the logical value is true, and you have the is false operator to display all records where the logical value is false. You can also choose the formula operator, which displays all records that match the result of a formula that you specify. Now once you've chosen the desired comparison operator by which you want to filter the selected field, you then enter or type the desired value or values against which to compare the field into the boxes which appear to the right of the selected comparison operator. For logical or Boolean values, simply selecting the comparison operator is enough. For the comparison operators is like and is not like, which are only applied to text fields. Note that you must create the pattern against which to match the selected field's values. We use the traditional DOS wildcard characters to establish this pattern. Wildcard characters are symbol characters that represent unknown values within a field. The question mark symbol represents one unknown character value within a field. The asterisk symbol represents multiple unknown characters within a field. So, for example, using the isLike operator, followed by a criteria of T question mark question mark, would return records with a field value of three characters in length that begin with the letter T, like the words Tim, Tom, V, and any others. As another example, Entering the is like condition, followed by the criteria of t asterisk, would return records with a field value that simply begins with the letter t but can be of any number of length. So you could get words like Thomas, T Bird, Thunder. Any number of characters could come after it as long as it started with the initial letter t. Now, after you've set the desired criteria, you may then click the OK button to apply the filter. Then when you click the Preview tab, you may be prompted to refresh the data to apply the new filter. Click the Refresh Data button to refresh the report data displayed within the Preview tab. If you have not yet previewed the report data, then the filter will be used to create the new preview tab which appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.